So here's a bunch of symbolic resonances of eyes that apply well to Sauron. An open eye is a dormant threat that has awakened. It's alert, it's active, but an eye alone doesn't act. You need a hand to do that. And in this story, it's a specific hand. An eye is intelligent, it's planning, it sees you, it knows your secrets. That's why we say a gaze is piercing, it intimidates you. It paralyzes you with what it knows, keeps you obedient, I'm watching you. And also, simply, it's unsettling to be stared at. From across the room, yes, but certainly from across the world. And there's nothing you can really do about it. It feels threatening, but it's non-interactive. And lastly, I'll religious note, God is who traditionally watches you. God knows, he has a plan, he's watching your every deed. This is like an anti-god with its own evil divine plan. What's crazy about Sauron on a story level is that this iconic villain never directly acts at all within the story. But there's so much fear of him just existing fully, that that threat alone is scary enough to carry the entire plot. Seeing all the characters freak out at just this one part of him that's existing, if passive Sauron is this threatening, that carries an implication that's so dire, so immediate, so pressing, it feels active. We feel the fear of an active Sauron.